Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. Another week of uh, wonderful homebrew talk, homebrew chat. Uh, it's another homebrew exchange, actually. This is number 44. It's been a while. Uh, the last one I see is probably six months ago, but uh, this is coming from a guy that uh, we have seen in the comments for a very long time. Scott from Uxbridge. Woo! He says, cheers from Uxbridge. That's a town in Massachusetts, uh, in case uh, you know. It's probably a town in England as well, but that's how it goes here in uh, Massachusetts. It's either uh, an English town or some Native American uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> word that yeah. uh, turned into a town name. Anyway, Scott, he uh, dropped bottles off at my house, and uh, it was a wonderful uh, thing to see when you see beer on your front porch. Um, so he uh, dropped off two beers. One was a Hoppy Wheat, which this is not, but the other one was uh, a Marzen. Um, just in time, uh, or maybe just a little bit late, because uh, we did do our own video of an Oktoberfest that was done in the Marzen style. Marzen, Marzen. Matson style. I'm not yep. even saying it right. Matson. Yes. Matson. Matson. Someone corrected us in the I know. comments. We're always saying like something. Like a horse. Matson. Oh, Matson. People are always, we just don't say it right. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is, uh, this recipe is based on uh, the in brewing classic styles, this recipe. And the other fun fact that he passed along was that this was lagered for six months before he Ooh. tapped it. So well uh well lagered i guess well done okay so uh looking at this uh recipe if i flip to i'm guessing the all grain version of this um so you were you actually looked at this right you said yes. that uh, <laughs> it's basically pilsner malt munich malt yeah. and a whole bunch of cara munich yeah, 60 it's a love. pound of care munich yeah. 60 love yeah. right so it's interesting in comparison to uh the one that i made um, very similar Pilsner, Munich, and then a pound of Care Munich. But I also had a little bit of um, midnight wheat in there that I was afraid to adjust. I wanted to adjust the color a bit. Um, but looking at this one, maybe I, I should just let it ride. A pound of 60 Love Care Munich is like perfect. I mean, this is that perfect orangey mm. color, mm. you know? Exactly. Um, you yep. know, um, now I'm looking at it actually and saying to myself, it could be a little darker, but that's how I screwed mine up. So maybe I should just <laughs> leave it alone. So actually um, this, so looking at this, it's a uh, uh, Munich malt, uh, Pilsner malt and Vienna malt. So yeah. that, that three malt combination. Yep. Um, and it's um, super, super clear, yes. right? That's, the, that's what six months of lagering will yeah, get you. Yeah, that's true. Um, so uh, beautiful. The aroma on this, right? Yep. Is uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm surprised that throwing a pound of uh, Cara anything in, in a five gallon batch like this is not um, overwhelming, but there's a really subtle uh, caramel note that's sitting on top of that Vienna Munich breadiness. Um, none of those aromas are super over the top. I mean, I think they've melded together together really well during lagering. I, I would assume, yeah. uh, and come together pretty nicely there. It's not like super malty, it's, but it's malty enough. I mean, it's like a good balance. The hops in this beer, if he's followed the recipe, are uh, all Holotau. Yep. Um, uh, a nice charge, 1.5 ounce or 43 grams at 60 minutes to go on the boil. And then another charge, uh, 14 grams or a half ounce at 20 minutes to go on the boil. Yeah, I don't think the hop character is anything um, outstanding here. I, if anything, maybe based on, on, on his water, just a little bit more. I wouldn't mess with the water. I would just say maybe a little bit more hops. It'd be interesting to know what Scott thinks himself about the amount of bitterness. Um, there isn't really much um, like hop aroma coming out of there. A little bit, a little bit more for me. Just my personal taste. A little bit more of that noble, spicy character on top of that. Sure. Malt bill would be would be awesome. But it's still super drinkable and easy to easy to to, to uh, suck down. I mean, it's great. Uh, he mentioned well water. That he didn't mess around with water with this, he just uses well water. This guy's gifted with some pretty nice water. <laughs> yeah. Because this, it's singing in this style. It's crisp, right? It's pretty yep. clean. Yep. I mean, it's like, um, and the body is like uh, medium, just a hair medium, medium low to me. Agreed. Which I think is making it drinkable, like really drinkable. Yep. Right? So if anything, just a little bit of gypsum maybe to help 
make those hops stand out or add more just hops. add more hops, yeah. right? And so we got to remember that adding more hops is just as valid of a way to go True. as jumping into a complicated water <laughs> treatments, right? Yeah, so that's what he said. No reason. water treatment at all. He's just using his well water. Wow. And uh, he actually, the, the, the wheat beer that he sent, he did, that was his first foray yeah. into building out a water chemistry yeah. based on what he has in his well. Um, so we might taste that off camera and just send him the notes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, so uh, pretty classic style, Beautiful. pretty classic version of this. Great version of it. Yep, and uh, I, I mean, I feast on it with my eyes. It's, it's a wonderful color, clear as day. I mean, just wonderful. Yeah. You know, nice lacing on the glass. You're right, I think that it's very malt uh, forward in the aroma. The flavor is wonderful, but um, yeah, a little bit more hops next time. Yep. And then just to balance that's it out. Just to balance it out oh, or man, just, good. just to have that, that note in there, that spicy note, um, that'd be great. Um, cool. Well, cheers from Uxbridge. Thank you. That's for sure. Um, thanks so much for uh, dropping off uh, free beer on our porch, um, or at least my porch, and I brought it over to his house. Uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, so this was exchange number 44, so that means we've done this 44 times. If you would like to uh, share a beer with us and have us beer, uh, send beer back to you, I know that there is uh, a request for your Marzen that we've got to bottle up and send uh, to Indiana. Got to figure out how to get that in a bottle. I will help you do that. I will just remind you and so on. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we will uh, definitely uh, somehow figure out how we can exchange, but uh, the best way to contact us if you're looking to do this is uh, email us, um, dudes at brew-dudes.com. That's dudes, D-U-D-E-S, at brew-dudes.com. I, uh, I, I use that for easy, uh, you know, memory <laughs> triggering. It goes to a Gmail account. That Gmail account has a very strong spam filter. So I go in there pretty much every uh, couple of days looking at spam emails. Typically they're all spam, but there are those uh, emails that I'm supposed to get. So uh, if I'm a little uh, slow on the reply, that's why. But I, I do my best to get in there and reply. So uh, write us a note and we can set up uh, the old particulars to uh, have beer sent to us and we'll send that. Yeah, back we love here. evaluating people's beer on so, camera. Yeah, let's get to number 50 uh, at some point between now and, I don't know, the end of next year. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll see you. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if that's what you want to do. We would love it because, uh, you know, that helps motivate us to continue doing what we do each and every week. For John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com, brew on. Cheers.